All right, we are live here. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, everyone here at Retroton and in RGL. Yes, has been really fun. This, uh, all this amazing marathon. My name is Tam and I, I am not the world record at this game, but I really, really love it. it the name is Don Dokodon 2. And basically some of people have found about this game because of a hack of this game that says Super Mario 8. <laughs> it's very funny. Anyway, let's get this started. Basically, <laughs> basically the idea. Oh, hold on. I have to reset. I have to reset to get the best R the best RNG, hopefully. Alright. So I'm gonna go in. Hold on. I'm gonna go in three, two, one. Let's start. The idea of this game is basically we are, we are a garden gnome. Okay, the prince and the princess of this Maryland, they are going to get married. However, evil forces lurk about, and and uh, they converted the turn the the beautiful prince in a toad. How about that? So basically the news of this uh, of this situation comes to us and then the good witch tells us, hey, you have to get five items so that I can make a potion to convert the prince back. How crazy is that? So that's, that's the story of this. So basically we are a garden gnome and we are going to recover those five items. The good thing is that we have a trusty mallet. Uh, we, can, we can use a mallet. In this case, I have a weapon, which is like a fireball throwing thingy. I, I don't know what is the name of that thing. But yeah, basically we throw fireballs, fireballs, like you can see right there. And hopefully if RNG is not bad, you will be able to see Ah, wow, well, I almost got hit by that witch. Oh, I got hit by the fuzzy thingy. Anyway, it's still good. So basically the idea is you use the mallet to hit enemies. No, not your pink bunny. <laughs> um, to hit enemies and you can carry, uh, you can pick them up and throw them around. Since I have this weapon, I can show you that. Maybe in the next level, oh no, RNG is really, really messed up. <laughs> okay, gonna try safe strats here. Uh-oh. No safe strats here. <laughs> All right. I can still manage. I can still manage. I can't die in the first level. It will be really sad. <laughs> Usually, usually that first that first uh, statue thingy that jumps around does not spawn. Does not spawn. Usually, it doesn't spawn. But it spawned all right, so I can. I have to. Oh crap! Okay, first death. Awesome. Ah, eh, that happens. This game has a lot of RNG, so basically. The timing of that guy throwing that fireball there, and those and these um, uh, wooden sticks, whatever thing it is, it is completely random. There are no global timers on this game. Everything is handled in a random way. I don't know why I do even play this game <laughs> because of the randomness. But yeah, okay, first boss. It's gonna take a long, a long while. To beat it, usually you use. Okay, I I messed it up. Usually you use the the fireballs to kill him, but in this case I have to use the the tossing, the hitting and tossing strategy. That is the normal way of beating this 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 level, I guess. It takes a long time. Ah, together with the with the with the death, 
not gonna be pretty. But anyway, we killed him. Six hits. Now I have to get the bag, with co which contains the, the ingredients for the potion. And I'm gonna get these red crystals. Okay, that was the forest. The next one is the ocean. Basically, we are going underwater here. Underwater. So basically, um, right now, right now I am in a little, little it, is, it is a little unfair because the RNG is completely messed up. An example that this crab enemy shouldn't be here. But anyway, we can deal with it. Oh, shoot me. Okay, let's get the key. Important to get the key. Let's get this heart. Need that heart. Even trying safe strats on this game is... Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Uh-oh. I, I, I thought that I had it, but it didn't. Okay, so we have these um, these volcanoes here, are like underwater volcanoes. If RNG is fine, you can just walk walk through it, but sometimes it doesn't work. So ah, come on, don't do that. Basically, you have to wait on the safe strats. If you want to get a record on this game, you sh you are you have to be really you have to go around everything, jump around. <laughs> in the next level, okay, now we are in the boat. Uh, yes, in the next level, you will, you will get to see that this game is not very good with collision detection. Like, I just get hit there. With collision detection, and you can basically, basically, if you're touching, oh, crap. No, don't kill me, game. No, I don't want to die. Um, basically, if any part of your of your uh, of your lower body touches a door, and you press the up button when you are on it, the game will recognize that as if you are going through the door, and and basically you don't need you don't need to be even correctly position it to do to to go through the door okay this next boss is is a pain in the butt because this is pure madness i'm going with the safe strats here sometimes it is a cute mermaid that winks at you and throws kisses and sometimes it is a ferocious sea dragon the best, the best outcome is if you get sea dragons, and also, also that lo that moving around time. Sometimes it takes so long. I think I need one hit. There we go. We kill the guy. We kill the the poor mermaid. There we go, and we got another item. I don't know what that item is. I, I haven't read about it. But yeah, whatever. It's another ingredient. Next is Skyland. Basically everything is around everything is themed around clouds and things. A pretty interesting place. The thing is I am about to die. So that's not very good. That's not good. Let's try to make it. I need two, two red crystals to get an extra health point. Every 10, 10 health crist uh, red crystals, it is, a, it is a health point. I'm going to try to try to obtain those somehow. Try not to be too reckless here. OK, not here. Not here. Come on, game. Give me a red crystal. I need one red crystal. 
to be able to feel a little better about myself. Nope, denied, dead. Okay. <sighs> I do hope I don't want I don't have to continue in this game. I do hope I do not have to continue. And this game is very punishing actually. You see I just died and all my red crystals are gone. That sucks. That sucks a lot. But anyway, I'm not going to delve on on the past. You see, I didn't have to go through the door, I just had to touch, touch it lightly. That helps here. Whoop, I can just touch the door from, from, under, from, from, from below. <laughs> and I just get to the, to the next place. That saves a lot of time. A lot of jumping around. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this boss is gonna be good enough. And, it, and if not, it's gonna be crazy. Crazy situation here. Okay, I have the fire stick again. Ten, ten fireballs that I can use. And I've used, usually. So I have nine fireballs now. There is a heart here, but I don't need it, so just gonna... Oh, okay, thank you, game. Thank you, game, for not dropping me down. I have eight fireballs. And I'm not counting them for the sake of counting them. I'm counting them because I... I need to know how, much, how many fireballs I have left for this section here. <clears throat> okay, this boss is very stupid. But the problem is, I can't, I can't, I can't let him go around. Okay, dead. That's very good. Let's, go, let's grab the, the thingy. And there we go, we kill him. That's why I say that it's very stupid, but <clears throat> you cannot allow, allow him to delve around. It's, it's bad for you. Okay, next zone is Dark Zone. It's my favorite area in the whole game. And I get that heart. My favorite area in the whole game. Is the spooky nature of Halloween-themed levels so crazy and it's per it's fairly short too so i'm gonna grab that frankenstein monster throw it out the moon the moon disappears and now the door is open because that's how that works now we are in the castle and if you don't know about this game the castle is gonna be a hassle and per no pun no pun intended Especially because there are doors that take you nowhere. There are doors that return you back to the beginning of the level. Stupid. Get the key. Very important thing. And now the door is open. We, we are not even touching the door and we just transport it. There is a shortcut here. Let's hope I can make it. Yes, I, I made it. So basically, I saved, I saved 25 seconds of the regular way you go around that level by just hitting those, those spots. And actually, I was very nervous about that trick because it is so inconsistent. But no, it worked out fine. I was very nervous about it, but it worked out fine. I, 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 it, is, it is really... It really uh, difficult to make it, to get the timing correctly to do that thing. So basically here we go over the wall and we get to the boss. This boss is really stupid, it's really, it is not very RNG focused but one minor mistake and, and it's over. So yeah, you basically have to throw, throw enemies, oh crap, at, at that heart that is right in the middle.
Oh, 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 okay. One cycle lost, no problem. I can still man I can still manage to do it, no problems. Uh oh, okay. Up bottom, please, NES controller, come on. Come on. Mm. Come on, NES controller. Help me out here. Alright. No more mistakes. We need to hit him five times. We need to hit the heart five times. It's the fourth one, by the way. And then something happens. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, come on, what the hell? NES controller, please, we are, in a, we are in a marathon here. We are not just going around. Come on. Mmm, how about it? The heart drops. You, you punish him with your mallet and throw, the, throw it around. And that's the end of the level. Okay, I'm very lucky that I didn't get hit by... I, I did get hit by that bat, but that's something that happens. Alright, Toyland. Toyland. I, lo I love the happy music, it's, it's pretty good. There is a heart here in that, in that chest if you want to... If, if, if you are low on health, it helps out a lot. And this level, this level is RNG in its purest form. There is a section that is upcoming that is really, really bad. You're going to see. Basically, basically the, my estimate is 25 minutes because of this level. And because I could die, and I did die, so anyway. Oh no, not UFO. Uh, mm, mm, how about it? <laughs> I love this game because you can be as mean as, as possible with those enemies. Oh no, <laughs> not this ragdoll and this UFO. <laughs> this sucks. Okay. Damage contention. Come on. Come on, platform. Oh no. <laughs> not you, UFO. Huh? Those UFOs make me nervous for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, you have to jump on these bridges or these platforms to make them go faster. All right, RNG incoming. I'm sorry for the for the noise. RNG incoming. So there is a door in the next section in this in this scene that you're going to see. There is a door that is time based and also is RNG based. So it, it pops up in some places randomly. Okay, it is not down there. It is up here, but since it is time based, so basically I, I missed it. So now I have to go around. It is not here. It is not here. Oh, come on, game. So it, it, is, it, is it up here? Okay, I didn't get to see it because it just despawned. Uh, again, where is the door? Where is the door? Oh no, game, you're, now you're playing unfair. Okay, come on, let's wait here. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, not here. Oh my gosh, really? Five cycles? Five cycles? Don't tell me it's gonna be six cycles. Oh, it's gonna be six cycles or more. Where is the door? Seriously, where is the door? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, the, the RNG ratio is like one in eight. One in eight possibilities. Oh no. Okay, and this is the reason why I said that I, this was going to take 25 minutes thank you game thank you for giving me the door there and i already i already surpassed the 
regular time to beat this game. <laughs> ah, and this section sucks. This boss is really unfair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be very safe. I'm gonna be very safe with this game. With this boss. So three hits already. They're still doing fine. There we go. Five hits. One my one last hit. And this boss this boss makes me really really tense. Okay, he's dead. Hmm. All right, that's very good. Whew. That's very good. Not very good for my time, but anyway, for my for my timer here, I still can manage. All right, final boss. So basically, we have the ingredients now. The witch. The witch is gonna prepare the potion right now. It's right there. We can, and boom, there we go. We have the potion, but no, the evil still lurking. No, he got the potion. And the witch tells us, oh yeah, use this ball. Use this ball to kill the guy. No worries, it will be okay. It won't be okay if I die on this boss fight, so I'm gonna be very cautious. I only have two health points here. I'm gonna be very, very cautious. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take a long time, but it's, it's for the best. Drop down, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, one hit. Uh-oh, okay, I fumbled that one. All right, drop down. Yes. Okay, three hits. All I need all I need is six hits. Hmm. Not gonna pick that one. Come on. Do -do. Nope. Okay, four hits. Uh oh. No, the ball is right in the middle. No, what I can do? I have to wait. Thankfully, this game has no timer. If it had, if it had a timer, it would be really crazy. Okay, six hits. And he first phase done. I'm gonna throw that thing there. Come on, witch, give me the thing. One, two, okay. Safe strats. Safe strats means that I have to retreat here. Three, four, five, six. Dev. Yeah, we killed him. And time. Wow. It took it took longer than I expected, but yeah, we did it. So basically the end of this game is we give the prince the potion. Boom. Okay. Still the same color. And they kiss. The princess does not kiss me, yes, of course. Whatever happens. I mean, I'm just an accessory here. And the end. Now everybody dances, everyone everybody's happy about everything. And that's it. That's Don Dokodon 2. Sorry for dying. But what can I do? What can I do? Anyway. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone at Retroton. Thank you, you chat. It's pretty good. It has been really good. 
I, I'm glad I didn't have to use a continuum. But yeah, anyway, thank you. Take care. Thank you.